Okay, can I have the last slide, please? So um, we're going to close today uh, by talking a little bit more about the research trials that are the next generation of trials uh, throughout the country. Uh, give you some insight, answer your questions, and then I'll send you off to jo enjoy uh, uh, the rest of your beautiful Saturday. So when we think about kidney cancer, we think about uh, patients at high risk for resec uh, high risk after having a resection. Whoops! What did I do? Thank you. Um, newly diagnosed, localized, and we think about uh, the options for people uh, that are uh, in the journey of kidney cancer that um, where they're having to consider alternatives. So one of the things that I think is the, the guiding principle for you as a patient is there really is no one time that I think you've heard throughout the day when to ask your doctors about clinical trial opportunities. It can be early, it can be in the middle of treatment, it can be later, depending upon how you've done. And, and my own view is that doctors that, this, that dismiss uh, the opportunity to participate in a clinical trial uh, are doctors that may have their best intentions in mind, but you have to be the best advocate for yourselves. And what I mean by that is you may have to get information, use resources, uh, seek out a second opinion, and find out what other options are out there for you, especially as you're making transitions from one treatment to another. One of the things that we're seeing in kidney cancer today different than um, just three or four years ago is that uh, many of the trials that we do uh, prevent participation if you've had too much prior therapy. So if you've had one, two, three, four, five things, many of the trials that we and others are doing around the world and in the United States only are looking at treatments in people that have had one or two or three prior therapies. So the time point with which to ask and answer those questions for yourself is the time point when a change in treatment is being planned. And generally, when you have a change in treatment being planned, you have the time to reflect to make sure that you're doing the right thing in terms of making that decision. Rarely do you need to make a decision in 24 hours to receive therapy. So uh, some of the things that we have here, uh, which are just examples of what's going on around the country. So this, uh, the, what's called the Everest trial, is a trial that's in almost 1,300 patients it's about six months from being closed. Uh, you've heard a lot about the adjuvant therapy of kidney cancer. We'll hopefully have those results this year and, and in the future, and we'll understand whether or not treatment in patients that have undergone surgery can benefit from some of the agents that we've used, that we've developed in the last decade. We are rigor vigorously in, uh, pursuing uh, autologous personalized vaccine therapy. I happen to be the international principal investigator for this 160 institution trial. It's a trial that if positive, uh, can revisit the role that our immune system has and taking a person's own tumor to generate that immune response that we had talked about. This is a trial that's looking at the checkpoint inhibitors when compared with standard treatment. Those are phase three trials, and this is a trial that when complete may offer checkpoint inhibitors for patients with previously untreated metastatic disease. This is, this, our trial is sponsored by Bristol-Myers Squibb, but there's a series of trials similarly uh, from other co companies around the country. In the second, third, and fourth line, we have agents that are targeting specific uh, new novel targets, nanoparticles that deliver drugs, as you heard from Dr. Posadas, in concentrations that are very, very concentrated in very small packages that hopefully get to the cancer without getting to normal tissue. And then a first in human study that we're just beginning uh, based upon science that has taken the better part of 15 years to get to the clinic. Um, so, and, and ours is just, our, our program is really just representative 
of the kinds of kidney cancer programs around the world uh, where people are focusing their energy and time on this disease to help you. And uh, uh, I just reinforce to you that I hope today was helpful, informative. Um, you have many of the emails of the people that presented. You can uh, uh, ask and answer, qu we can ask and answer questions and uh, hope to see you in the future. Thanks so much for taking your time out and coming today.